Take the tick stack. Uh, what tick stack is? Uh, we can use this uh, to monitor our infrastructure. So tick is nothing but the T for telegraph with the time series data collector. And flux DP for the time series data storage. Chronograph for the time series data visualization and capacitor for the time series data processing. And we can also, I mean, we can also trigger alerts using capacitor. I'll show you how this works. So um, what I'll be using is a vagrant to run all the images I mean the VMs so here are the configs on the monitoring VM I will install a influx DB chronograph and capacitor and a node 1 and node 2 I will install a telegraph which will report the metrics to the monitoring and we can visualize using chronograph and then we will get alerts using capacitor so I will, sh I will demonstrate this so let me Boot up the VMs segment up. Okay, it will take some time to boot up. I will pause the video until the, all the VMs are booted. The VMs are up. You can see the vagrant status. All all my VMs are running so what I can do is vagrant SSH monitoring and uh, now let's install the influx DB chronograph and capacitor on this node so okay I will be the sudo user okay I need some uh, utilities like vim and double get Okay, I'll install this because I always use this to download the archive and I like Vim as editor. Okay, okay, I have created the steps here. So, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be installing uh, the influx DB first. So, I will take this uh, 1.7 for the centers. Here are the RPM and local install. I just copy paste that command. Okay. Mm. Now the influx DB has been installed. Let's start the service. So if you would like to add authentication then um, you need to create a user so I'll be creating a user called a monitor admin and the password I'll keep the same so to get into the terminal you just have to type influx and uh, once you're in just add this create user with password monitor admin with all privileges you can see the user will show users command monitor control so I will have to edit the influx db.conf and enable authentication true so I need to find this auto enable it's false we have we can we, we can enable it as true now i need to reload the restart the influx db okay that's done now what i will install is uh, the chronograph let's just copy paste this the chronograph is installed and i need to uh, okay, the chronograph is installed. I need to start the service and then I will install the capacitor. Uh, 
can put a capacity that I need to enable the, I mean, add the username for the influx DB. It's got that um, local host, yeah. And then the username is monit underscore admin. Monit underscore admin now. I just need to restart the service. Start the service capacitor. Okay. You can see the status. Capacitor is running. The chronograph should also be running. So now what I can do is open the UI. So what is the IP address? IP address. And it is listening on the chronograph is running on port 8888. So, so this is the graphical interface. So let's start it. The username is monit underscore admin and password is also monit underscore admin. Connected to influx DB. Okay, I think I will also need to install Telegraph because it is it won't be it, it is not able to find any configuration. Let me install Telegraph also on this machine. One moment. Okay, we telegraph telegraph cough and here I need to find for the influx and I need to uncomment this uh, URL here it is a localhost which I don't need to do anything and the database is telegraph and for the authentication I need to uncomment the username and password. The username would be monit underscore admin and password would also is monit underscore admin. Okay, let's telegraph restart. So now this should be able to so getting started. Let me update the connections. Okay, now it is able to pick the registered dashboard for the system. I select it. Pick the dashboard capacitor. Even is monit underscore admin and monit underscore admin I kept all the username password the same for this uh, demo so you can see it was able to connect, uh, connect it capacity successfully and also the influx db so this is the this is the UI, uh, UI for chronograph and you can see the host list uh, dashboards alerting log viewer log viewer Influx DB admin configuration. So, so this is the one which was installed by default. If you click on this, you can see all the metrics which are being uh, displayed for this node. Um, the host. This is something called as uh, a variable here. You can give any name. For example, host. Here we can give like let me give this host underscore name. And then the tag value would be this. Um, uh, it basically gets this value from the database telegraph and then the key host. And then if I save this, you can see 
all the rings want to do uh, got uh, disabled because if you edit one of the configuration here the query is select last uptimes from the query like from the telegraph and then you have this uh, variable which is host here as a telegraph host name so once i do that this will pick pick the variable from here so here i just revert it back to the host because unless i need to edit all of this config only thing which i need to revert back is in the system up then i hope you get the point here so this is the variable which will be substituted from the like to the query so whenever i select the host for example here right now i have only one host so mm, the query will uh, update the variable here so and this will make sense when i add few more nodes i'll show you that and uh, for the other thing right now there is no rush i will do this later for now what i will do is uh, I will log into the another box. Node one and install telegraph here. Okay, install telegraph. I'll just install the replicate and museum. Okay, to install the telegraph, we just do. Okay, so this takes the traditional telegraph for me and to edit the uh, config that's in where when it is the telegraph telegraph.com and here you just have to search for the influx here you need to update the URL but here it can't be localhost I will have to provide the IP address of uh, our InfluxDB, which is this, which is this, actually. So this, you know, I have it here. And then the database would be again. Telegraph and then uh, for the authentication, I just need to give the user and password, which is admin underscore page. One is admin. Okay. Now service is um, telegraph. Okay, this is okay. Now the telegraph is running. So if we go to our influx DB, so I have come, I have a command here. Influx username and password. If you if you log into the influx uh, DB command line, you can see show databases. You have, you, enter, you have telegraph, and if you do use telegraph and uh, show measurements. So the, here here you can see we have all these measurements, CPU disk. This kind of kernel memory process that all this thing. So if you select uh, from C 
system, you can see we do not have a of of monitoring and not one is being collected. So if I go back to the dashboard and click on the system, here you can see the drop down list is not yet updated. You can see node one. You can see it has you can click node one and the matrix will be updated for the other nodes. So this is how it works. If you have any questions, please post it on the comment section. I'll try to answer. So now that we installed Telegraph, and uh, I think we should do uh, now. I will show how the alerting works. So you can see this is the uh, alerting cap like the capacitor is which we will be use for the alerting. How to create the alert is. Just click on the build alerts and uh, for example, let's take uh, let's go to the dashboard first. Here, let's see this the total memory is 1.8 GB. Okay, file system usage for the root is 8.5 percentage. So, let's set an alert uh, for the file system usage. The alerting uh, this usage is high on this row. So on the telegraph desk device used percentage so so you can see used percentage root by 4 and now you can see if if uh, the use percentage is greater than uh, like 50 to 70 percent then we can give warning on uh, 80 percent uh, critical so for this demonstration I will just give like if it's more than 7 then we, we should obviously get to the alert so let me save this first okay now what we have to do is set an alert handler so i will use the slack for this uh, demonstration uh, because uh, i have a slack uh, test account free account slack this is slack channel okay i will will uh, Use the stats.aa to get the alert. Okay. So to this, we need to have the hooks. Slack hooks. Okay, here uh, I will be using for the alert handler as a slack. So, as a default, so create a rule for the slack. 
this 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 lag folks. Test out AA, test the error, save changes, send test alert. So now you can see I get a test lag message. So update. Let's go to the alerts and click on this. Select the default as uh, slack. You have many options like hip chat, Kafka, and um, pager duty. We can use any of this, but for this demonstration, I'll just use the slack. So you can see the value set to this config, and I can add this. Um, can add a custom message along with the uh, templates which will auto fill when when we receive the alerts let me save it and if you see the alert history we are already getting alerts because uh, I set it for the seven percent and uh, you can see the risk usage is high on host monitoring node one so you know, you are receiving the alerts this is what I wanted to show hope you can uh, I hope you understood what I wanted to convey but right now I have integrated into the slack and I'm receiving alerts and the alerts I have set it only for the seven percent but in real case it will be like if the risk usage is above seventy percent then warning you can write here uh, in the message warning risk usage and if it's about eighty percent then critical so you fix the you fix your 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 node or the host so this is this is uh, I'll just update others. It it will keep sending messages to the Slack. Yeah, other than that, uh, you have an option to see the host list. As soon as the host is added, it will show up here, and when you click, you get some pre-built um, monitoring. You in the dashboard, you can also create your custom dashboard like uh, in add data uh, disk usage and then click on the tag of database and uh, disk and then the path like I'm just showing this an example for the root uh, disk usage and then I'll just select the one of the nodes and used now you can see this is collecting metrics for monitoring but I would like to remove this monitoring and make it templatized by creating a variable name its name which would be the host name and then in the visualization I will change the format to this below megabytes and gigabytes and if I go here you don't see any metrics because I save this because I need to add a variable here variable template variable and I give it as h name from tag values from uh, the telegraph database with uh, from system with the host and then I just created how you can see disk usage for different different nodes so this is how we can set the dashboard and I was already show you how to set the alerting system. I hope this was helpful. If you like the video, please do subscribe and uh, please provide a suggestion. I will try to improve myself. Thanks for watching.